All right, guys, welcome to a different kind of video where I'm going to be going over my best builds of 2019. Uh, now, this is just a brief recap of the amazing year that we had uh, or that I've had or whatever um, in building. And I just wanted to kind of recap of some of my best builds and just talk about them, give a brief summary, some of my fa favorite features in those builds that we're going to talk about today. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be a mixture of the afterlife builds, some of the uh, building world build building world builds. Yeah, so we'll see how that how that's all gonna play out in today's video. But first, I want to give a huge thank you for those of you uh, that watch this channel and you support the channel. To all the newcomers, welcome into the channel. We have been getting subscribers like. Uh, crazy so or <laughs> the best that we've ever been gaining subscribers um, and I just want to say a, a, a huge thank you for making 2019 the best return year because you know I, before this I was on a little bit of a hiatus and I didn't wasn't recording YouTube videos I was full-time streaming well not full-time getting money off of it but I was streaming um, for the majority and um, yeah so it's just been a really nice year and uh, thank you to everybody has been, who has been a part of it. Um, you guys are awesome, so thank you. All right, so the first build for today is Lumberville. And Lumberville is the first project that brought me back into Minecraft. It's what inspired me to bring my channel back. And I, was just, I really just got like sunk into building uh, this village and I don't even know why because it was sort of just spur of the moment I was only supposed to be back for a little bit on YouTube or not even a little bit on YouTube I was only going to be doing Minecraft on streaming for a little bit is the it was the intention but uh, everything just started to sort of blow up and then I was like you know what let me let me record videos of this let me build a basically in a kingdom world on uh, YouTube and all that stuff. So um, basically this is what come, came of it. Uh, Lumberville started it all. Um, it got the the ball rolling with this whole building world thing. And it's been really awesome since. So um, Lumberville, yeah, I mean, <laughs> thank you for inspiring me. This project is awesome. I absolutely love it. Uh, Lumberville is you know it has to be one of the best builds that i've done just because of that reason of it bring bringing me back into youtube after a, a several year hiatus so um getting me back into minecraft so pretty cool stuff all right so still staying in blonsung's building world or kingdoms of vargan as we're calling it nowadays um eventually i'm going to do a blonsung's building world episode coming up hopefully soon of me going over all the changes that have been happening in this world because we, we have been doing a bunch of live streams of this world and um yeah so I'll, I'll make an update video on everything that's changed in this world but this is one of them i've i've completed or somewhat completed the castle uh the main etia castle uh, the Capital Kingdom's castle. And um, this castle goes way back. There's been many different versions of this castle in many different worlds. Um, for for example, I, I the first version of this was back when I first started playing Minecraft on the Xbox 360 edition. That's when I really started playing Minecraft seriously, before YouTube, before everything. And, um, you know, this is the castle started then. I, I I built the first version. The world got corrupted. I built the second version. It got corrupted again. And this this castle just has a lot of history to it. Uh, for those who don't know, this is called Stormhold Castle, and it is the main at it, its ca uh, it's the main capital castle, um, or and it's the centerpiece of the Etia Kingdom. So. Um, and it is my largest castle that I've ever built in my most, I guess, intricate castle, the most detailed. Um, and it's really just a nice feature. Some of the features that I like about this build in particular is the clock tower, especially. I mean, that is just a, a focal point. It's just so big. It's the biggest clock tower. It's just so cool. Uh, it's got the big flag above it now. And it just really stands out. And the bridge, just how it connects everything up together. I just love that and how the pathway goes underneath the bridge. 
This is so cool. Many different features going on here. Yeah, a lot of people like the the front staircase as well. Um, and uh, yeah, so that, I mean, that's just, I mean, there's a lot of things to kind of look at at this castle. So pretty cool stuff. It's one of my favorite builds. I had it included on this little miniature list of uh, just some of my best builds of 2019. Ah, uh, yes, the Afterlife Town Hall. How could I not include the Afterlife Town Hall? We're actually in our creative server right now. We're not actually on the actual server. So some of this, this stuff is outdated. Um, so I'm just flying around here just to show you that this is our creative server that we have. It's a separate server. Uh, but anyway, this is the design. This is the Afterlife Town Hall design. Um, there's actually more on the survival server. So, uh, but yeah, and I have another world where I have more built and more designed. Um, but the Afterlife Town Hall um, breaks so many records for me. Um, the biggest build I've done in survival, uh, the biggest town hall I've ever done. I mean, just it's just a centerpiece. It's a staple within Afterlife now, and it's just the build that everybody looks at um, and just is recognizable. <laughs> and everybody talks about it. It's I, I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite builds. Um, you know, some of my favorite features on this build would have to be the balcony. Um, and I'll just fly over real quick just to show you over here, the big balcony off to the side. I think this is like <laughs> one of the biggest balconies I've ever like designed. And it doesn't use like fences or even anvils just to, it uses right full stair blocks as the railings, which I think are just so cool. Um, and just some, it's just got a lot of little details and just, it really was like chiseled. <laughs> it's just, it's just basically chiseled, uh, all together and just block by block. Um, now I did use world edit in my other world to kind of help me, um, to design this. Uh, but for the most part, each part of it, like this balcony, for instance, is put together piece by piece. And yeah, I'm just very proud of how of how all of this is turned out. I just think it looks so, so cool. And uh, and you guys have said so many times that this how, how cool this build it actually is. And I really do appreciate that. So thank you guys for all the support on this build. Um, but yeah, love this town hall. Probably one of my best town halls I've ever done. It just breaks so many records. And I, abs I absolutely love that build. And I, I you know, how how could I not include it on this list? It's just so it's just a staple as a, a, you know, it just puts the staple in that this is my return to YouTube. This is my return to um to building in Minecraft. And I, I think this build definitely shows that. So pretty cool stuff. Gotta love it. And here we are with the afterlife arena. I love this arena. <laughs> it's I've never done anything like this before. I've never built a Colosseum arena thing before with sandstone using these different types of blocks I don't usually use. Um, and it has the red coloring in there as well. It has it's using a red color. <laughs> I kind of see it in the trap doors and off to the corner over there. Um, this was a collaboration project project with another Afterlife member by the name of Mr. KB. You might know him. Yeah, you'll, de you'll definitely know him. Um, and uh, so he basically brought proposed the idea to me. He said, you know, um, he wants to build an arena. And he offered me to, well, he basically said, hey, you know, if you want to work on it together, if you want to build it, he'll do the, you know, the you know, red, redstone, well, not redstone inside, but like just the uh, combat area for it. Um, and yeah. I, I mean, this is my first big build that I did on the Afterlife server, um, and I think it turned out pretty darn good. It was a nice contrast to the Afterlife Town Hall, which the Afterlife Town Hall was, um, it was just very um, it's stone brick, cobblestone. So this was a nice contrast because it used different resources, so it didn't take up any resources that I was already using at the Afterlife Town Hall. That's why this project was very nice to work on. And I I wasn't looking at gray the whole time. I was able to kind of switch it up and uh, look at a little bit of more tanner, more brown blocks. So it was kind of nice. And it also use, uses red instead of blue, like I typically do. I usually use blue in my builds, uh, but red's a nice color as well. So uh, 
one of my favorite features about this build um, in particular is the front entrance using that gate design instead of using like typical fences or like walls like you would normally see it uses actual full blocks and stairs and pistons to kind of give that impression that it's a, like a, a gate and if it were to close you're definitely trapped in there it doesn't you can't you can't see out you can't see in um you're kind of locked in there with whoever's in the arena with you so pretty cool stuff i i love this arena um so thank you to mr kb for bringing this up to me and um you know starting the idea off and last but not least is my afterlife spawn house area um this isn't just we're not just saying the spawn house even though that's the biggest feature here we're talking about the turtle pond we're talking about the llama pen um and what I just love about this area is that it's my best like spawn um, area for an SMP. Uh, <laughs> if we're talking, if we look back at like Afterlife Season Two, Afterlife Season Two, my my house attempts were pretty pitiful. Um, even my second attempt was pretty bad. Uh, I think I've definitely got a lot better at building, which is weird because I took a break for so long. How how, how come when I come back and you know. How does that how does that make sense um but yeah no it's it's really like refreshing to kind of like come back and then try and do like a this nice build like the to just really just make a nice house and i i know whitefire has said this as well like um the house that he's built on this season of afterlife is his best house and i have to say that about mine too because my this house right here, I think is one of my is the best house I've done for uh, any SMP. Uh, just for the simple fact that um, when I you know had houses on SMPs before, they were just not good. They were really just not good. Um, and I don't know why that is. I have no idea why I never really gave it as much as of an attempt as I've done in this season. Um, but I really just wanted an awesome house in this season. Now, originally, if we just fly over here real quick to take a look at the house part, um, the water mill and the tower were not part of the house when I originally designed this. These were actually additions and also the balcony as well. I, I added these all on as spur of the moment because I was like, you know what? I don't want it to just be a normal, like typical house. And the house would actually be quite small or a little bit short looking without that tower. Um, the tower just adds so much to it, I think, and just gives it so much to look at. Um, it gives it a little bit of a uniqueness as well. It also co combines a, a lot of different styles like rustic and medieval and fantasy. Um, and it just it just includes all these different styles and it just really looks like um, a master architect would live there. I'm just kidding. I don't want to. I don't want to self-proclaim. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just really like how that turned out, and just all the other surrounding things around the build. Like the llama pen was just a random spur of the moment build. I was just like, hey, I'm gonna build a llama pen for my llamas that are out front. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it match the house. I think it just adds to the area quite well. And then we have the turtle pond as well. Again. I just get inspired by turtles and I'm like, that's a perfect idea for outside my house. It's an ugly area. I need to dress it up. It just looks so good. It just adds so much. But yeah, guys, um, let me know what your favorite build on this list was. Um, I'm curious to know what you think. Somebody's flying by. Who is that? Who's flying by? I don't know who we'll never know who that was. Pretty sure it was white. Probably white fire kings either. The only ones on the server. Anyway, <laughs> this is, um, I just want to know, let me know. Okay. This has been the uh, best builds of 2019. Here's to 2020. Um, and hopefully a good year of YouTube and streaming and all that good stuff. And thank you guys for supporting the channel, uh, and the Twitch channel as well. You guys are awesome. I can't thank you enough. Um, and I'm going to keep on building. It's going to be awesome. So as always guys, don't forget to be awesome. Let me know what's your favorite build on this list down in the comments below, what you thought, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.